okay so uh, today in reference to the previous um, lecture uh, we are going to discuss um, the um, uh, the accepts uh, we have already discussed ac accept one and accept two in the previous lecture so today we are going to discuss accept three and accept uh, four as a part of the language of law a discourse of law uh, we um, if you look at this uh, except three, when we were studying except one and except two, we have studied that there are a lot of similarities. So you can see that uh, it, it is very vivid that they are quite identical and the highlighted portions are completely similar and the places where there is a little bit differences. So it is just uh, the synonyms which are used and just the way you people use synonyms. So it's just like very vivid that it is copied. It, 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 it is a questioned authorship and you can say that any one of them has uh, copied it from the other. However, if we look at this uh, another accepts, uh, which is uh, the task, and, and you can see that accept uh, three and accept four, uh, we can see that even in these, it feels like it's colluded. If uh, like it's it's um, as a as for the forensic linguist, uh, when the forensic linguist look at, looks at the uh, similarities or the differences, they have to look at it very carefully because uh, uh, because the the people maybe they are trying to uh, when when someone is fabricating something when someone is you know trying to hide something so obviously they will try their level best so that it cannot be identified and you as a forensic linguist ha uh, as uh, has to uh, look at it in a lot of detail so when you look at uh, the this these two accepts you can see that we have only three similarities in both of the accepts however if you look at the um, at the similarities of the factual data you can see that all the facts are completely similar now and even the sequence is similar now let me uh, explain it to you how it works if you look at it from the perspective of psychology or from the perspective of the study of uh, language um, um, sorry from the perspective of uh, the, the studies of studies which are done in 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 um, in this in area related to uh, mind human mind does not work like that if two people are narrating a story it is impossible for them to narrate it exactly in a similar way so um, if if two people are witness to the same thing it's impossible to be to narrate it in the same way secondly if you're narrating it for the second time it would be completely different from how you have not completely but at least the way you narrate it it would be different from the way you narr you have narrated it previously and then if you narrate it once again it would be a little different although the factual data might not change the factual data will remain the same but uh, even in this, um, uh, in even in this, these two accepts, you can see that the factual data is uh, similar. You can see that, um, like, uh, first something is asked. You can see constable asked Mr. X if he had consumed any alcohol. Here, I asked if he had consumed alcohol, and then I invited X to sit in the car uh, in the rear of the police vehicle. So, and and he did so, and same goes like that constable asked him uh, if he has consumed and constable asked him to accompany him and sat in, in the exactly the same factual data it's impossible to narrate exactly in the same way and even it ends on the same note so you can see that this is uh, something which is completely similar and uh, the, when the factual data is similar, you can, based on this point, you can say that it is colluded. You can say that the similarities are um, are there, and um, like the facts, like um, like since these similarities can, uh, for the most part, be independent each other, so. Uh, this same information can be, um, you know, can be rechecked through the actual forensic data, the, uh, sorry, to the actual forensic data, which is not only related to linguistics, like not only related to language as well. So it can be factually checked as well. Um, from these two accepts, we can see that they have before writing it down they have uh, discussed it with one another and they have uh, you know discussed it that that's how we are going to write it so um these data are completely um uh, similar 
and based on that we can say that this is how the language of law works and uh, if you read this uh, completely that is uh, if you compare these two that is um, i invited acts to sit uh, sorry um, i fully explained the use of um, uh, the device to x and i pointed out uh, the possible consequences of refusing or falling to provide. And if you look at uh, over here as well, so all this um, is completely similar. Both the information is completely uh, similar and the way they have mentioned it is also similar. And therefore, based on that, we can conclude that this um, they have discussed it with one another. And that's why it is similar. 